Hi, this is Dina, Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, what I'm going to be doing is setting up my July 2023 budget and also um, hopefully cash stuffing for my envelopes for the first two weeks of the month. So I am on vacation the last two weeks of this month. So I did my budget um, in my cash envelopes for half of the month, so just for two weeks. And then the next two weeks, all the money I spend will be out of my vacation money that I've been putting away. Um, and I do that just because I don't want to have money sitting here that I'm not using. I'd rather use it, leave it in my account and use it for vacation or to have to reconcile all of this while I'm on vacation. So I'll do a week to check in and see what's left of my envelopes maybe do some um hopefully if i have any money left over i will do some 100 envelope challenge that i can put away that would be great if not then i'll have to um just make sure that the money is back to pay my card when i get back from vacation from my cash envelopes so let's start with paychecks um these unfortunately have not changed my husband normally gets a small bump in the month of july for cost of living for his pension but um you know <laughs> the way things are anymore who knows so i take my pension draw his pension draw draw combine it together divide it by two and that just gives him some privacy and then my daughter pays me 210 a month that's paying me back for her phone and her car insurance. So the reason why I just put that money into my budget and not put it separately is I'm just paying myself back for the money I've already spent. So I pay her insurance for the year because it's cheaper that way. And then she just pays me back monthly. So I, I know, um, I want her to have the savings of doing that, but with being on her own and her job is not super secure right now. So I just want her to feel comfortable that that's done. Um, I am been trying to put 500 a month away into savings, which is great. Um, I used to be able to put a thousand, but that is not, um, something I can do right now. I used to have more income than this, so which is great. Um, okay. So for, we're going to come back to this part. So we do um, now have somebody helping out with the landscaping. So that's 140. I think I'm only going to use him once this month because he'll come. He would come when we're gone, which I don't have to leave my back open. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 140 in the envelope, but I might need to, um, I might have 70 left over. I haven't canceled him yet, so I don't know. Um, my phone, I just got that bill today, is 262. That's our mobile phones. Um, electricity, um, I live in Arizona, so I'm gonna put 400. I am tracking at about 380 right now. Um, on our app, you can look at the estimated, and when it gets to 350, they send me an alert, and you can choose what number you want that to do. Um, I have not gotten that alert, alert yet. But if I look at my daily cost and multiply it by how many more days I have, I'm gonna come up right close to 400. Um, my water bill has come in and that's 97. Um, Southwest gas has not come in. I'm gonna stick with what I had last month, which was 40. Uh, no, yeah, 40. Um, internet is 120. Direct TV is 110. Netflix is 16 HBO plus is 11 Hulu is 17 life insurance is 106 and that's for my husband and I Jim is 59 car wash is 25 medical insurance is 1370 I almost forgot that. I'm like, why do I have all this money left over? And then I looked at my last month's budget. I'm like, I don't know why I have a block on paying that much for medical insurance because we are both semi-retired. We out of pocket pay for our insurance because we're not old enough for Medicare. Um, and neither one of us has been motivated <laughs> to go back to work full time to get benefits. So uh, we pay this through a company called Thin Blue Line and it is designed for 
first responders that normally retire before the age of, you know, 65 when they qualify for Medicare. Um, so my husband retired after 25 years in law enforcement. So that's why there was a gap. He did go back to work for the next three years. And finally, we're like, life is too short. And um, he left that. Okay, so my homeowner's insurance, um, if you're new to my channel, we did pay off our house um, June 1st. So all of our, like our home insurance now comes out and property taxes come out of our budget um, instead of coming out of our escrow account. So this was kind of, um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this. Actually, this is probably the good time. So when I was calculating what I was gonna need to pay, I knew we were gonna have a escrow reimbursement of 1200, it came in at 1223, so it was like right on the money. And we already have that check and I've already deposited. Then I looked at my last year of what we paid for home, auto, and an umbrella liability policy. And I calculated how many months I had to save for those. So for my auto insurance, for example, it's my car, my husband's car, and a truck that we have. So there's three cars on that policy. In 2022, when we paid it, um, so August 1st of 22, it was $23.92. So I've been saving $200 a month. So I would have the $2,400, which I do. I just got a renewal and it's 2,974. So right off the bat, I was short $500. That way it gets worse. <laughs> so my homeowner's insurance was 1,479 for our house. And the bill came in at 2,150. And I sent an email to our insurance agent and said, why is that? You know, is it just the cost of rebuilding or what is it? But um, they've, no one's gotten back to me and no one's given me an explanation. So I went ahead and started searching for homeowners insurance. Now my mortgage company sent me an email saying, hey, just so you're aware, your policy expires next month and it's you need to pay it directly basically because you don't have an escrow account anymore. And there was a company on there that they recommend that they're brokerage for 40 different insurance companies and to contact them that they could look at a policy for me. So I contacted them, guy was great. Um, so the policy is now 1,216. I did send an email back to my insurance company um, my current one and say, Hey, I haven't heard from you guys. I'm going to go ahead and shop it. You know, I don't know if there was an error in the billing. They did get back with me and say, Hey, can you just give us till after the holiday and we'll take a look at it. So I'm like, sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to save $900 and go that way. And then we do have an umbrella policy that was 645. And I kind of lumped that into home, even though it's an umbrella policy for both auto and home It's personal liability. Um, the current the bill was 645 last year. It went to 774, not that bad. Um, but with the new company I had them run, I sent them my policies and said, what can you do here? And they came back at 385. So about half of this one. So what I had budgeted for was 4,516 and that money was there. I did not budget for 5,898 because the difference of over $1,300 and I just, I will tell you, I had a total freak out moment. <laughs> My poor husband <laughs> had an earful from me. And then the revised bill is 4,575. So lesson learned, and that's why we originally changed insurance last year is because when you just continually renew, 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 there is no motivation for them to search for better rates. And so I knew that from, we left guy going into this new insurance for that same reason, it just kept, going up a thousand dollars every year. And I finally just said, I, I don't know like what we could do differently. So it obviously was better last year than it is when I look at what they renewed it at. Um, so this is what I had to work with, uh, what I am working with when I'm putting money to, away for the insurance that's actually due August 1st, but I wanted to make sure I had it all by July. Um, and I wasn't fooling around with this when I was on vacation. So knowing that number as now as my homeowner's insurance, um, what I needed to fund it was 290. So between what I funded last month plus my escrow check, 
I need a 290 more and that will pay for the umbrella policy as well as the uh, my homeowner's insurance auto insurance because it did go up I can't put the regular 200 away I had to put 700 away and that is if you saw my earlier video why I had to take certain money certain envelopes and roll them over I was not you know planning to spend seven hundred dollars um five hundred dollars additional for auto insurance for the year and we do pay it annually because it is much less expensive that way um but there was a moment when i'm like maybe we're just not going to get to do that this time okay so 700 for that property tax um is 240 um, last month I put 290, but when I went back and really looked at the math and what could I put away and still be okay, um, I brought that down a little bit because other things had gone up so much. My HOA, I already paid, it's 235. And pest control, I don't have service this month, but I do put um, part of the payment away every month just so that the month that I have service, it's not so painful. So 1500 So these are my fixed expenses. They're the same every month unless something major goes up, like, you know, one of the streaming services or something like that. Um, my fixed variable expenses are the ones that flex every month um, based on when those bills are due. Um, I really could put electricity down here. I used to, but then I just put it up there just because I pretty much can guess what I'm going to estimate for that one. Um, so between these two, 2762 plus $1,500 is $4,262 in what I call my fixed expenses. You know, can't really do much about them. Um, I have to pay them. I don't get to choose not to. <laughs> um, so we go over to lifestyle. Um, I just halved this. I'm not doing HelloFresh, so I put 300 in groceries, eating out 100, spending 100. I rolled my mom's money over. Entertainment. What did I think for entertainment? It was 100. Miscellaneous, I rolled over. Personal care, I rolled over 130, so I just needed 70. And then household is completely empty, and that's a hundred. Um, I don't need groceries online. Gas, I did one seventy-five because just really for two weeks. Medicine, I'm rolling that over. Well, I really shouldn't put it there. I didn't spend it last month, so well, I'll put a hundred. Um, it's just gonna stay online. And then giving, I didn't use that last month, so again, I'll just roll that over. Um, I'm going to write 100 there, but I'm going to put zero over here because that money is already there. Um, so I don't need to worry about... I'm going to do the same thing here. Otherwise, I'll confuse myself. And we all know that's not pretty. Okay. And then um, I did switch up some of my subscriptions um this is a new one it's 35 that has already been billed faded chronicle i did last month too it's really pretty um elements is massage audibles my reading app um paper minty studio i always say i'm not going to do this and i do it every time and then coffee monster co will bill through this month i kept putting 49 dollars down because i thought it I didn't understand how they're billing. So instead of billing monthly, like most of my subscriptions, it's quarterly. So they sent me an email that July 1st that will be charged and then it will actually ship in October. I just got the June one this week. So 30, let me go back here. So 300 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 70 plus 100 plus 175, plus 35, plus 41, plus 80, plus 16, plus 110, plus 49. Is 
1,276. Let's go ahead and bring my income over. So if I take 8060 minus my fix of 4262 minus my lifestyle and minus savings, that gives me 2022 for sinking funds. Now, um, there's certain ones that I do the same amount every single month, but this time I also need to replenish vacation since I am taking vacation this month and I use so much of it. So um, I did plan 555 for vacation. Christmas I do every month at 300. And then the rest of that we will go, let me look at my form. Okay, so this is already gonna be off because of the fact that um, I did this before I decided to roll over miscellaneous, my mom, um, personal care, and medicine and giving. So we we'll just kind of have to take this as our template and go from there. So these two are already done, and then let's decide what our envelopes are gonna be. So I need to do, let me see here. So if I started with 2022, you guys have to keep me on track here. Um, minus 50 for my birthday, which funds that. Minus 50 for my daughter. Minus 100 for my husband. Minus 100 for my daughter and son-in-law. Um, birthday family, we have 30 birthdays this month, so 300 there. Um, 40 for Liam and Milo, which are my daughter's dogs. Um, Car insurance we already accounted for. Date night, 50. Okay. Let's see, minus 50. No, 2022. Minus 50, minus 50, minus 100, yeah, no, minus 100, minus 100, minus 300, okay, minus 40, that one's already counted for, minus date night, homeowners already counted for, property tax already counted for, minus pest controls already accounted for. Um, Christmas and vacation. So it leaves us with $477. I'm just gonna write that number down. So I am gonna work three days this month. So I basically will take those three days um, and probably figure that out at the end of the month um, where that money is gonna go but it's just three days at the beginning of the month, so that money will already be in before vacation, so I can always use it as a cushion for vacation, but. Okay, so if I have $477, um, I am going to put, I'm gonna put the whole thing in general fund, and that is a account that is at Capital One that just sits there and it has a bunch of different ones within it. So instead of having a envelope for tax prep or yearly subscriptions like Amazon or LegalZoom or Beauty or any of those, I just put it all into one fund. So if I know something's happening that month, like in June, I put $200 in because I knew that LegalZoom, which was 199 was gonna bill, I put that money in just so that my balance would kind of stay the same. So for this month, I'll put 477. Um, I know in the month of September, usually September 1st, Hobonichi launches their planners. I normally go onto the Hobonichi website and order them um, there because that gives you the best choice. 
and then that way at the end, you know, I'll have that money there. I won't be worried about pulling it in the month of August. Okay, so that should be 100% uh, percent of this sinking fund. Plus 50, plus 100, plus 100, plus 300, plus 40, plus 50, plus 35, plus 300, plus 477, plus 25, 5, plus 27, 25, 57. Did I add that in? Okay, yeah. Okay, so I added pest control in twice. So. This one is out of my front page. This one, and that one, and that one all came out of um, my fixed expenses. So it does kind of mess me up sometimes because they're here, so they're already accounted for in the total. So that I don't want to count them twice and put them in here. So if I take 4262 plus 1276 plus 500 plus 2022 is 80, 8,060. So that balances. Um, now let's go ahead and do cash stuffing. So we can just do it all in one video. I may not have the right denomination, so <laughs> I might have to uh, do some revisions afterwards. But so this is definitely my favorite part of the um, month when you get to put in money in your envelope. So for groceries, it is 300. And when I am doing this, I, that, one, cause that one's a hot mess. Where is my form? I have redone this budget more than I think any other in the my life as a budgeter. It's been a mess. Okay, so here is what, no, that's not it either. Right next to me. No, that's not it either. Oh, I don't think I printed it out. Okay, well this is the blank form, just to give you an idea. Let me see if I printed it out. It did. Okay. So um, the way the form is, there's formulas. So it multiplies 150, so on, by the number of bills you've asked for, and then it totals it up at the end. And then I took what I had left in my back to bank and put that here. And then it just said I needed two $100 bills and three. Um, 20s, but this is not the same number that we're working with now. So let's see what happens here um, Because some of these were last-minute changes But we will go ahead and get started so for groceries I said 15 20s and that just makes it easier to take make change 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 13, 14, 15. So it should be 300, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83. So what I did last month that actually worked really well for me is I put them in the envelopes at the beginning of the month. And then when I sat down to do my first check-in, I just put it all back together. And that way it made change so much easier. I was still able to track it in my planner to say what should be in this envelope but it just made it easier for me um, not having to figure out how to get change so that I could put it back into my back to bank. So $100 for eating out, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. And then spending is the same. And luckily I can put this in my wallet now because my wallet is very sad right now. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. I'm gonna take 50 now, put that to the side. 
And this is the one category that I do not track. Um, household is getting 100, and I did that as 520s. 20, 40, 60, 81. I went to one branch of my bank and they didn't have any 50s, so I got 20s. And then I went to a different branch and they had them, so I was trying to exchange them out, but I didn't have them all with me, so we'll see. Um, my mom um, had $100, she still has $100. Currently she has COVID, so we are not able to visit. I'm not able to visit because I watch my granddaughter. I just don't want to expose her to that. Um, my sister is there today visiting and so by next week they said she'll be out of quarantine and I can go visit her again so I won't be spending any money right now. Miscellaneous 100, 20, 40, 60, 81. That's a rollover as well as my mom's. Personal care I rolled over 130, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125, 130. Um, I had estimated 200 for this, so I'm going to add another 70. And I did that as 320s and 10 ones. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I always like to have ones in this category just for tips, it makes it much easier. Okay, so I should have 200. So 50, 20, 50, hello, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 185, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200. Okay, entertainment was a hundred. No, it should be fifty. No, what did I put on there? It is a hundred. I might be short money for this because for some reason I think I took it from fifty to a hundred. It's a hundred. Okay, so let's do. I don't think I'm going to have enough 50s. Let's go ahead and do 50 now, and then let's see. I might need to pull for week two. So I'm going to put 50 in there. I'm just going to make a note on here, because otherwise I'm going to wonder. Okay, so these are done. And then for sinking funds... I'm going to start with uh, this binder. This binder has what I call occasions. So holidays, birthdays, things like that. And so the first one that is getting stuffed is my birthday. My birthday is this in July. Um, what am I doing with it? I don't know yet. <laughs> it may be going towards homeowners insurance. I don't know. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 30, 40, 50, 500. And then my husband is getting a hundred. His birthday is in September. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 460, 470, 480, 490. So he just needs another 10. But this is a big birthday for him. So I probably will go ahead and put more in there. Um, my daughter, Megan, her birthday is also in July. So I am just getting ready to shop for her. Trying to get a birthday list from her. 100, 200, 300, 450, 70, 80, 90, 500. So she's got 500 as well. Um, the cars is my daughter, son-in-law, and granddaughter. They're all kind of grouped into one envelope. Um, they are getting 100 as well. Is that a $100 bill? Yeah. So 100, 200, 300, 450, 490. So the next birthday will be my daughter in October. Um, family birthday, this is going to be gone by the end of this month. I did 300. So I've got two sisters 
and my sister-in-law all have birthdays in July and a friend of mine. So it's just, it's always been an expensive month. Um, that's kind of why I started doing my one daughter separate because I didn't want to be, just keep adding to one like birthday month. Um, I've seen a lot of budgeters do that, just budget so much per month. I like it to do by person just so I know that she's funded and, and then I can just add in where I need to. So for birthday family is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 570, 590, 596, 97. So almost 600 in there. So I should have some, actually should have some money left in here. Um, nieces and nephew birthdays, actually my nieces and nephews kids. I need to start funding this again next month. Currently I have, should have 139. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay, so that's right. Um, and then Liam and Milo, I did some major damage in this. I don't know why it still says I have 120. I don't. I had 70. No, oh, I had 80. So I bought his food and uh, got his nails cut. Oh, so that's right. 120. I just didn't have it right on there. Um, so we, they have 80. I'm going to add to 40. So it should have 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. I need to put any one in there soon. Um, this is an envelope that sends my husband over the edge because he doesn't understand why we don't have dogs, why <laughs> we have folders for them, but we watch um, the one, my one daughter's dog every weekend. So I'm usually the one that takes him to go get his nails cut, take him to the groomers, buy him stuff because he's here every weekend. And then my other daughter's dog, my husband will take him like hiking and things like that. It's a golden retriever, he's got a tremendous amount of energy. Um, but he finds a way not to spend any money. I also started it because I wanted there to be money if, you know, an expense came up that my girls couldn't do. Um, so for car insurance, that's currently online. Starting with August, I'm gonna be using that as an envelope. So I'm keeping it separate from car tags and car maintenance. Um, date night gets 15, I believe. Yes. So date night gets 50, that's two 20s and a 10. So date nights when it's my husband and I, entertainment uh, is usually uh, my daughter's or a friend or sister. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 25, 30, 130. Oh, cause I don't know this one in. Okay, I'll go back later and update all my trackers. Um, household, I put it in the other envelope. Okay, lawn care, and I'm pretty sure I did not remember to pull money for this, but I need to put 140. Let's just put 70 in for sure, 20, 40, 60, 70. That'll be the first time. I don't think we're gonna have the second time, but if we do, then I'll go ahead and pull that for the second time. Um, property taxes is going in here and that's 240? 240. Um, because property taxes is not due for a while, I do have 2000 in the online account. And then when I get to a thousand here, I will move that into my online but I wanted to, to see it going in to keep it straight in my mind. 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530. So I need 2,000. I already have the 2,000 that's due in October, so I'm working on the October to April payment. So I need to have 2,025 in there for that. And then, um, let's see here. 
Sutton is not getting funded. Target I wiped out. Um, vacation, I moved it to be an online account. Okay, so do I not have pest control in here? I guess I need a pest control envelope. I thought I made one though. Okay, so we'll take the 35 for pest control and I will just need to make an envelope for that. Okay, that is so weird. I swore I made one. Okay, so it looks like I've got extra money. I can go ahead and put the rest in entertainment. I kind of feel like I'm forgetting something. 